Today's retro spot, why we're having a look at the Kenner Care Bears, posable figure of tender heart. Everyone needs to be cared about every about every once in a while, and that's when you need me. I help you share your good feelings with others, and wherever I go, I leave a trail of love and tenderness for all to follow. Oh, Tender Heart. Tender Heart by far is my favorite Care Bear. I think it's Tender Heart, and then I like Good Luck Bear. I, I really like how he's green and everything else, and I also like Grumpy Bear. I don't know if that what that says about Spot. This is ages for ages three and up. This comes to us from the good folks at Kenner, and Kenner would like you to know, as I zoom down below, that it meets or exceeds all safety requirements of product standards 72 to 76. A very retro package. Down at the bottom, very classic design of the Care Bears there. Roly-poly roly little Care Bears. On the back, Care... Oh, it actually says that. Care Bears are roly... Ten roly-poly little bears who live high up in the land of rainbows and fluffy clouds called Carolot. They always keep an eye on things down on Earth, and whenever you want one to share your feelings with others, they come right down to help. One look at their tummies helps you understand why they are so good at helping you express whenever, whatever you are feeling. Of the ten Care Bears, now this was the original wave, so some of the newer, well, the Care Bear Cousins and stuff came after the fact, but we've got Tender Heart, Cheer Bear, Birthday Bear, Grumpy Bear, Friend Bear, Bedtime Bear, Funshine Bear, Love a Lot Bear, Good Luck Bear, and Wish Bear. Look for more exciting Care Lot playset and Cloudmobile vehicle to help create the fun filled world of Care Bears. Down below there is the Care Lot playset and the Cloudmobile. If you are wondering, by the way, how old this is, 1982. 1982. How's that for retro? I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'm going to get Care Bear Tenderheart out of his little prison, his little plastic prison. And when we come back, certainly more retroness to come. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And with most 80s toy collections, there's always an advertisement. Now with the Care Bears, I'm just going to open this up here. It's stuck together. You have yourself a nice little poster that you could put up on your wall. It shows the Care Bears and some old retro designs. This reminds me of those Care Bears books, the little hardcover books that they had in the 80s. Anybody remembers those? Moving that aside. The one thing I really like, though, is always the, the product catalogs. Spada has himself a small collection of product catalogs from 80s toys. For starters, it shows you some of the things you can get. The six-inch stuffed animals. I went to a girl's birthday party in kindergarten, and I, I think I got her Cheer Bear. There's Tender Heart there. Got ourselves the 13-inch. Oh, you know what? Excuse me. I didn't get her the six-inch stuffed animal. I got her the 13 stuffed animal. I got her Cheer Bear. I remember it well. I remember it was like it was yesterday. I think we had Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I think we had... Uh, cherry chip cake, I think. So many memories. There are the Care Bears here. What else we got here? Oh, Care Lot playset. The Cloudmobile. Some PVC miniatures. That was that was a huge thing back then. PVC miniatures. Smurfs. Care Bears. I think Strawberry Shortcake also had some. I think my sister had some. And the Play-Doh. Care Bears play sets. They never turned out as good as they did in the picture there. They ended up just looking like blobs. I'm going to add that to my collection. I'm going to add that to my collection. Moving that aside, let's have a look at Tenderheart, who poor little guy has fallen over. He is cute. A cute little guy. He is using the same body as all the other Care Bears. They kind of change out the face a slight bit. He looks a little more feminine in the toy than he does in the cartoon. I think one reason why I liked Tenderheart as much as I did was the Land Without Feelings. Does anyone remember the Land Without Feelings? 
That was so BA, and you know where I'm going with that, BA. I love the fact that the Care Bears basically went to the Castle of Coldheart. Oh, Professor Coldheart, you monster. And all the Care Bears single-handedly were all getting eliminated. Some were getting stuck in goo. But you know who made it to the end? This guy right here. Tenderheart totally owned it. He used like a, I think he used like a heart balloon. He drifted apart, drifted over the, the goo. But I always remember the most is when he's pulling his little heart spikes and he's climbing up the wall. And he looks so B.A. That's when I knew Tenderheart was my favorite Care Bear. Totally owned it. And then after that, the Care Bears just kind of went wussy in the head. They were all about love and Nelvana took over. But before that, Care Bears were totally owning it. Professor Coldheart, you monster. Uh, down below you can see there's Tenderheart's little tummy logo. In this case, it's the heart. And something you will also find on Care Bears from these 82 series is the little tuft of hair. Same sort of hair that you would find on a My Little Pony. Kind of looks good without the hair, but I wouldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't bear to cut that hair off. I mean, that would totally just take away from the toy. But it looks much better without the hair, don't you think? I know, I agree. Yeah, the coloring is definitely nice. I think with the packaging, the way it's yellowed, um, as with some packaging from the 80s, when it yellows, the toy always looks like it's yellowed as well. But as you can see, it's still very vibrant. There's the, also the little heart on his little tummy, on his little uh, Care Bear bum. Uh, his articulation, by the way, is he has rotation in the head, rotation in the hands, which I always find this funny, is that they're somewhat joined together. You could independently move them, but they seem to want to move together. And then they always have this awkward V articulation in the leg. So you can have the Care Bear sitting. So if you have the cloud car, you can have them sitting in there but they always awkwardly stand. So like putting him down, poor T Tenderheart just doesn't want to stand. He kind of falls over. He probably would stand a little bit better on a display base or if you have his legs on this really awkward stance, like he's got to go to the bathroom. But this definitely, this right here, if anybody was to ask, Spot, why are you reviewing this? This is my childhood. Love it or hate it, this is my childhood. This is what I grew up with, this kind of stuff. Tenderheart on a retro toy level. I think I'm going to give him I'm going to give him an 8. On a toy level, he's not as good as some of the other Care Bears. I think Grumpy Bear is much more vibrant than Tenderheart here. But I still love him because he totally owns Land Without Feelings. Climbing up the wall with his hearts. That's where it's at. By the way, if you haven't seen Land Without Feelings or the, uh, what was the other one? Oh, Professor, uh, they battled the freeze machine. That was the other big movie that I liked. But I still like Land Without Feelings. Gotta love the Kenner Care Bears here. Today's retro spot, we're having a look at the Kenner 1982 Care Bears. And we're looking at the leader. We're looking today at Tender Heart. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down below, maybe if you're my age, if you're this old guy as well. Let me know down below if you had any Care Bears and what were your favorite Care Bear growing up? Was it Tenderheart? Was it Good Luck Bear? Maybe it was Funshine Bear, I don't know. You guys can let me know down below. In the meantime, I'm gonna wrap this up here. See you guys next time.